Hi and welcome back to the channel. A quick video for DM32 today, something that I discovered and uh, I thought it was interesting. Okay, uh, we're still hoping for better firmware upgrades from Baofeng, I have to say that. It's a great mobile, a great DMR, but I would like to see some more attention to the firmware versions to eliminate some bugs. I just have to say that to take it out of my chest. So let me continue. Uh, if you remember my video for the DM32 UV, the presentation that I made, I was complaining about the screen, that it was uh, a classic dark background screen with white letters. This is a norm for many radios in this period of time. I'm not sure that I like this thing, to say the truth. Uh, I know it looks better uh, in, uh, in, in our eyes sometimes, but in countries like Greece, where we have a lot of sunlight, this becomes a problem when you have to use your DMR outside. So, uh, okay, there are some modified firmwares around, mainly from a Russian guy. Yes, sorry, I have to say this because I know that uh, people from US that are watching those videos might uh, start thinking, oh, US, uh, they are spying on us, don't use his firmware and stuff like that. Well, uh, I don't care. <laughs> if they are spying on me uh, through this radio, uh, have fun, guys. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to listen. But anyway, so there is a guy in some Russian forums that makes modified firmwares for this radio, and I believe that we might see something very interesting in the future, like a new completely open firmware, but I can't say anything for sure because, you know, this is a very hard work in progress. But uh, before we get there, he released a version of the latest firmware, 049, that he inverted the colors on the screen. And that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, here is the DM32 UV. You can check the video I made for the full presentation of this radio, which is an excellent DMR. Uh, and check this out. Okay. Let me put the password. Full inverted screen. White background, black letters. It looks strange, I have to say that. It doesn't look that amazing like the black screen and the white letters. And also the, the colors look a bit strange here because they are inverted. I mean, uh, this used to be, I think, red, uh, the, the, the indicator up here that says digital. Um, of course, I will experiment with the colors because we can change some of the colors in the menu. But the main thing is that it's an inverted screen with white background, a bright background and black letters. So I thought that some of you might find this interesting. Flashing the firmware is not something difficult to do. You can test this yourself if you like. I will put a link of this firmware in the description of the video. And that's it. I mean, test it out and tell me what you think. Uh, try to test it out in sunlight conditions. Uh, do you think it works better? I'll just take the camera and do a small test here. As you can see, bright sunlight, yes, here, you can see it here. I know that it's still not as visible as we would like it to be, but believe me, this is a bit better than the black screen with the white letters, I have to say this. Uh, the other screen, at least to my eyes, was not visible at all, I mean, I, would, I couldn't see absolutely anything when I had this radio in this bright sunlight. So I think this is a, a first step to a good development. Okay, back inside. That was it. As I said, I will put a link for the firmware in the description of the video. Tell me what you think if you flash it. Do you think it works for you? Is it better for you with those colors? And also just a tip, if you want because some of you might consider the boot screen uh, that it is now inverted. Normally it was black with white letters. 
how I made it, but you see now it's inverted to white background and black letters. That is a problem that we can solve very easily if we just invert the image file before uploading to the radio. It will become again black with white letters or whatever else we want, but the main screen will be white background. So, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about this new firmware. See you next time.